Agile combat employment. The idea of that is to be able to recover, reload, refuel, and launch an aircraft all while defending it with a small footprint. So what the ACE training does is it allows airmen to not just be part of their AFSC, but to become multi-capable airmen and actually train in a different AFSC. Getting individuals out of their comfort zone and into different shops to learn jobs that, that will better support that mission. To be a multi-capable airman, uh, that gives me the opportunity to step outside of my comfort zone, which is ammo, and, and move in to see what other people on the base are doing. So the biggest challenge I would say is being able to balance your time in order to add on these additional requirements for training. It's not just a one-time thing where I go up to weapons, I learn what they do, and then later on down the road I use that. We have to maintain qualifications. When, when we typically think of leaders, we think of the leaders standing out front making all the decisions, they're doing the training. But with ACE, you step into these different scenarios where you have airmen leading and showing you and teaching you what they know, and they are experts in their field. So it, it gives me the opportunity to step back and listen to them and to learn from them. ACE is, is beneficial to the Air Force because as you know, we have limited manning, we have limited resources, and so we need to be able to get out and, and be lean, we need to be light, and we need to be agile. Being a multi-capable airman makes you better equipped to serve, and ultimately that's, that's why we are all here. And with, with things changing in the world, you never really know what's going to happen next, but we always have to be prepared for it. Being lean, light, and agile, that's at this point the name of the game, and, and the best way to do that is to be able to know and do and perform multiple tasks outside of your comfort zone and what you've typically learned. Thank <laughs> you.